What's going on guys, Coach Vic here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to get in a proper launch position. Let's get into it. What is the launch position? It's the position that the hitter will get into as that front foot is getting into foot plant or getting into the ground. Once that heel touches down, there's an instant of time where a hitter is in a particular position. Now, you'll see across the board, almost every single of the best hitters ever are going to be in nearly identical positions. You may see some variations, but they're very, very small and very, very subtle. All in all, for the most part, it is across the board, it's a universal position for optimal hitting. The launch position, so uh, spacing of the feet, okay? So this is also a way for you to find your stride length because once we stride and before once we land, we are now at launch. So this is a way to determine your stride length. Simplest ways to do this is to put the bat, your game bat, whatever that is, either lined up front toe about with the, the knob and the cap of the bat or or a little on the outside, fit, squeezing the bat in between your feet. Unless that feels too wide, then you can kind of jump into this space right here. The next part of that is our knees. Okay, so now that we've got our spacing, how much should we bend our knees? Not having the knees out past the toes, a little more upright, just a slight bend. And then what we need more than that we need to sit is we need a hinge. And we kick our butt back and our chest goes forward. It's important, maintain a straight, strong back. But now my chest is over my toes. I should be in a comfortable enough position to be able to look out with both eyes and see the pitcher or whoever's throwing me the ball. And if it's off a tee, you pick up your hit or your pitcher out there and then revert your focus back here before you take your swing. And now we want our hands back. Typically, we got the knob to the catcher. Well, there are exceptions to this. There are some people with a little more of a vertical bat where the knob is maybe a little bit more down or some where maybe the, the, the knob is a little more kind of pointing up toward the catcher. Again, it's on a case-to-case -case basis. If somebody is a good hitter doing it slightly different, well then leave them alone. If you think that it's causing a problem, well then we might adjust it. If it works for the guy, there's no need to change it. So the typical traditional launch position is going to be that knob is pointed down toward the catcher mask or some say toward the glove. Once I fire from here, I have a very clean, quick, compact swing through the ball. And this angle here, the knob is kind of toward the catcher. We got the bat is kind of out going behind me. Some guys might get a little here. If that causes a problem, then we're gonna change it. If it doesn't seem to be causing a problem and they can get to where they need to be, then go with it, okay? So here we are, launch position. I like to think about this arm, think about this arm having a little bit of bend. But the other cue I like to have is like the chin on the shoulder. Across the board, when a, when a hitter gets, gets loaded and gets into launch, the chin is, is either on, near, right above the shoulder. I am stretching, creating a twisting between my upper body and lower body until my shoulder meets right under my chin. And so this is giving me a good stretch at launch so that when I do fire everything forward that I can almost catapult, if you will. Once my body, hips, lower half, and my shoulders start to go, I can fire, release that barrel through the zone, maintaining good direction, okay? So one of the drills, super simple, is to get into launch. Again, it's chin on the shoulder. I like to think that elbow is almost pointing like an arrow down to the white line. And firing from there. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments below uh, if you'd like to see any future videos uh, or any drills you'd like me to break down for you. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button, ring the little bell to be notified of future videos. And I'll see you in the next one.